From the East Tennessee Weather Center, here's your morning weather update with meteorologist Mike Witcher. And good morning. Happy Wednesday, everybody. Sure hope you had a great uh, week so far. Today, we're going to actually see a little bit more cloud coverage across the area, and we do have a chance for a couple of spotty showers. Something to keep in mind, but it's still going to be warm, and we're talking near records. The record in Knoxville is 80 degrees set back in 2022, and we're forecasting 81. E about where we were yesterday. Knoxville made it to 83 degrees yesterday, one degree shy of the record of 84 set back in 1948. Still going to be warm, but we're going to have more cloud coverage throughout the day today. Crossville is at 71, 75, Chattanooga and 75 also in Tri-City, so Knoxville is one of the hottest spots. High pressure continues to hang strong across the southeastern U.S. A trough is moving its way out of the four corners, and that's going to shove a cold front into our area, or around it anyways, and that's going to give us that southerly fetch of moisture, so we do have a chance for some spotty showers today. And then tomorrow, I think we're going to get a little bit more of a wraparound as the cold front actually pushes on through. I actually think that we're going to have a little bit better coverage, but just a little bit on into our Thursday when we're talking rainfall. It is going to be a little bit on the breezy side throughout the day today, but that's kind of what we've been experiencing over the last couple of days. So we're going to have more cloud coverage today than what we saw yesterday. That's why we're bringing those temperatures down just a bit. We're going to be dry through the lunch hour, but as we get into the afternoon, you can kind of see how these spotty showers will develop in that southwesterly flow pattern with the cold front just off to our west. So by the end of the day today, some of us will get some rain. Now, it looks more impressive when you're looking at the graphic itself, but I think anyone, most of us will see less than a tenth of an inch of rainfall, maybe a little bit more in some isolated locations. Uh, we start the morning off with temps in the 50s and 60s, so well above average. Remember, average lows are in the 40s. We'll climb into the mid to upper 70s to pockets of low 80s for this uh, the lunch hour and even into the afternoon. So again, it's going to be a warm lunch hour. It's going to be a warm afternoon, and that's going to make for a nice, pleasant, but warm evening around town. Now, as we get into our Thursday, remember I said there's going to be a little bit more wraparound moisture, so watch this. Cold front's going to be off to our west. We get that southwesterly flow. Cold front starts to work its way through. The winds will shift, and everything to our west will start to work its way to the south and southeast. And so I think that's what's going to bring us a little bit better coverage of rainfall. But again, it's not going to add up to a whole lot, so not much more than what we will see uh, throughout the day today, but it will add up a little bit. As we've been talking about all week, this mid to late week uh, we uh, weather, this rain, not going to produce a whole lot and still not looking like it's going to produce a whole lot. So near record high temperatures today, still staying warm and near record highs again tomorrow. Then we'll drop into the low to mid 70s as we get into our Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and we'll stay that way as we get into Monday, Tuesday. Average high for this time of year is 64, so we're still trending above average. Dew points stay elevated as well, so that's going to keep our morning lows on the elevated side. Plus, it's going to give us that warm feel to the air, so lows will be in the 50s and 60s for the next seven days and likely to be the case over the next uh, 6 to 10, 8 to 14 days out per the Climate Prediction Center. Doesn't look like any big cool downs are on the way. So we'll go 30 to 40 percent chance of rain today and tomorrow. We're going to be rain free on Friday and then we'll bring those rain chances back. I think Sunday is going to bring us a little bit better coverage than Saturday, but there's still a lot of unknowns. And what I'm talking about is moisture associated with Hurricane Raphael. Winds now at 90 miles per hour, gusting to 105, so it is a Category 1. Could become now a Category 2 as it enters the Gulf of Mexico, down to a 1 on Saturday morning, and then kind of curving its way northward. That's where a lot of uncertainties are, because one model, the European model, doesn't bring a lot of moisture to East Tennessee, but the, uh, the uh, American model does. It looks like this trough to our west will scoop up some moisture and throw it our direction, but the storm system itself will just kind of linger into the Gulf of Mexico. So per the latest model guidance, it just doesn't get picked up and pushed into our area. So that's why I say the weekend, stay tuned. Saturday, not nearly as much rain as Sunday, but I don't necessarily know that we're going to get a ton. So over the next three to five, seven days, when you look at your seven-day rainfall outlook, uh, the, climate, the Weather Prediction Center has shaved this down just a little bit from what we were talking about yesterday because there are so many unknowns with Raphael. Uh, but we are looking at anywhere from about a quarter to, I'd say, about a half an inch of rainfall. So still beneficial rain, still much needed rain, but maybe it's not quite as much as we would hope for anyways. All right, so we have a little bit of a cooling trend on the way. So we're going to be in the 80s, 70s and 80s today. Then we're going to drop into the 60s and 70s as we get into the weekend and the start of next week. Still above average, but obviously a little bit cooler and more seasonable. Of course, you can always check in with your daily forecast weather updates, One Minute with Witcher, Interactive Radar, Day Parts, 7 Days, 
and access to the only 24-hour weather channel right here in East Tennessee by downloading the East Tennessee Weather app. It's a free app download, by the way. Never pay for weather information. We sure hope you have a great afternoon, and we will have another weather update at noon today, tracking those rain showers, and again at 6 o'clock this evening. And don't forget to submit some photos, your views from your eyes to Witcher's Pictures.